Hi guys, welcome to the channel and today is the day I just flashed this ROM and it has been a request and a dream of every Euphoria user no matter what he has uh, got the Android one, the Cyanide and OS one it has to be dream to get another OS running on so basically if you are uh, old to the channel you may be knowing that I have made a Asus in your type ROM which is a kind of fail because I was not able to compile it into the zip please let me know how to compile system.img.dat I guess that lollipop dat files I don't know how to compile that neatly uh, so basically in that ROM I did that took the base of a Cyanogen mod 12 and added Asus in your ROMs which turned out uh, quite a nice wrong <laughs> for those who uh, got it uh, right in working but this time today morning i checked the u forums and uh, i didn't waste any of the second and just downloaded it it's the my ui version 7.1 yes the my ui much requested whoa and it's in beta stage right now but the fluidness and the features are just mind blowing but let me just tell you some things the developer has uh, uh, told me that it has some audio issues but i have not tested because I, this is not my daily driver because uh, there has been some sluggishness in my touch screen i don't know whether it's to my specific euphoria or uh, i don't know it's <laughs> kind of if you hold like a 5000 rupees uh, samsung phone next to this my euphoria the touch screen feels quite responsive on this like phone as you can see as we touch our finger follows that but my euphoria is like a sluggy one it there's a bit of a delay like a major delay you can obviously experience that so i will be making an uh, replacement or something like that i am my friend has a euphoria too so i will try his euphoria before i replace because if i fucked up and i replaced then basically i am <laughs> just gone like many i just follow you on euphoria forums and many of you guys have just got broke euphorias so get into the rom basic impressions beta stage just release and amazing but let me just test out the audio whether it's to the EOPs, then I don't know. You have to just check out because this is not my daily, daily driver. Because this phone is kind of a slow, in my opinion, because of the budget. And yes, the audio is not working. Some of the developers got it working and they are working on the audio issue sorry the phone is not okay uh, audio issue and it will be fixed in the coming weeks let's hope that summer holidays are coming as you can see very very fluid system ui it lags a bit in uh, some apps but if you overclock the gpu i guess i have not done that this is the stock kernel of cyanogen 12 so you can just try it out i will try it out that too but basic impression is very smooth because we have that Gaijin Lua effect going on in the background. Now I have used the MyUI 5 on this thing. Also the MyUI 7. And uh, it looks pretty cool but <laughs> this navbar is pretty much making me a bit of annoyed and it looks like KitKat. I don't know why. It's 5.1.1 Lollipop of course. Let's check out some apps. As you can see you just tap the app and it's open very very awesome optimization hats off sorry if the device is not in focus messaging pretty much awesome ROM you do get the camera as you can see you have to touch the focus and you can just slide for the exposure which is also cool now the image uh, of the preview over here is a bit of a cramped image I don't know why because we have the navbar I guess as you can see front camera but <laughs> the image quite looks very ugly I don't know why you can do the same exposure thingy over here too 
HDR on off and we do get the manual mode of course as you can see if you hit the ISO you will just kicked off the app basically then there is the gallery it's a bit laggy and the touchscreen issue I just spoke about is very bad over here as you can see music app just showed you I don't know whether the headphone works or not I will just tell you later on the theme section works just perfect but applying just uh, some themes makes it a bit laggy let me just show you my offline themes I downloaded the iOS 9 one let me just show you pretty much the developers just upload some fake type of screenshots I don't know why looks quite cool but it's as you can see it's now laggy I hope it would be fixed or just some processor issue as you can see looks like just iOS is kind of cool thing settings is over here camera not changed let's just go again and let me just show you as you can see the lock screen type is like this but you don't get like that let me just show you okay of course you get like that but it's not the perfect one as you can see wow wow wait a second I just downloaded a theme and it has like a control center what the heck basically it doesn't have this power over here but a theme can add a control center I never seen that in the my UI I checked the my UI why uh, like version 5 version 7 but never seen such thing like that wow this is so cool and uh, it's barely smooth welcome to iOS 9 style this is totally awesome as you can see pretty much basic stuff also I have the notify theme over here this is quite crazy as you can see notify plus let's just apply that there are no more touch with themes but as you can see the main galaxy store has the notify theme also the my UI <laughs> Okay, that would be the perfect. I guess okay. As you can see, not for style icons, pretty cool thing. But the apps did, uh, don't adopt that much, like the green and blue colors of it. Also, the settings. So basically, in this thing, you do get the wallpaper and the icons. Okay, the pinch to zoom is now working. It was not working on the first boot. I don't know why. Let's just go back to the original thing and I will recommend you to stick back to the end of this video because I will be talking about some issues if you flash that as you can see task manager and the main thing in my uh, version 7.1 also this thing doesn't lag in any device like this is the live blur beside that not like Samsung which is just a flashed image I don't know why we can clear the lamp ECD right through as you can see Chinese stuff not basically Chinese but you do get the play store in this and it's working just fine let me show you by downloading something like kernel editor I guess let's connect to the Wi-Fi works very fine I really don't know what's the base over here but I'm pretty much like Sanogen mod 12.1 the base version not the mod uh, do I don't know why the options are not coming okay I'm sorry if you can't see the screen actually okay let's just try one more no auditor you just install that which is a cool thing that this doesn't crash without <laughs> the play services and the google app just kind of a crazy thing but you do get file explorer compass 
Ah, this one is the gold one. As you can see, work just fine. I love it. Just clock. This one is fancy too. As you can see, I hope this can be ported to any device because it is just a very beautiful app. As you can see, it follows my finger. Let me show you. Very nice holo effect over there. Update and no updates right now. Still, I just checked my US seven point one point one point zero. The latest one, I guess. I don't guess this is with the MIUI, like with the one with the Mi 5 Pro. I hope it will. As you can see, now I checked out the MIUI 5 and the 7, but the this settings kind of look like uh, some settings have been pulled off. I don't know why, but you do get the about phone over here. Kernel version Cyanogen mod something as you can see let us say and also the historic is now working previous versions where it's not working system app installed app additional settings not in work display 100 mode is not working I don't know why it would be fixed as you can see it's pretty nice effects over here actually so pretty much you have seen everything I guess kernel auditor fully working just clear that ah okay let me just show you the security pretty much if you have seen my fly voice review for the galaxy s4 same shit <laughs> like the security app has the cleaner and everything else like uh, just a clean master but embedded in your system as a security app smart manager in samsung and also the security app in the fly os pretty much every chinese os is same to the feel i don't know why but i'm going to stay on this rom and use this rom because i pretty much kind of hate now cyanogen mode 13 and this is a very very nice and new look okay let me just okay so i just checked over and the audio is not working on the headphones too so that needs to be fixed uh, it's kind of sad because i use this as a walkman because it it's ha has a very good battery life um so i'm kind of sad right now so guys thanks for watching this was my review for the my ui version 7.1.1 and yes, your dream, dream has come true of running an another OS on this Euphoria. So guys, thanks for watching. Also, subscribe to the channel for more Euphoria videos. And peace.